I thought I could quickly explain to him how we do the setup on a racing car like this because that's quite special. Or it's not special, but it's quite cool. So when we do the setup, first of all, we do it on those plates there. We have four feet. These feet we can adjust higher and lower because before we put the car on there, we put all those four, one under each wheel. We make it completely straight from the ground. So on top of here now to the next one, the next one is completely straight. Then we have this one on top. This is the weight. This we turn on here. And then we see how much ballast is on this wheel on the car. And on this display, we can see it when we turn it on. I'm not gonna show you now how, it's, how my car is set up, but when we turn all the weights on, we can see it here how many kilos on each wheel and the cross weight and the balance and everything. And this is really important. And on top of the weights, we have this platform here. This is because this big support here was mounted on the car knob instead of the tire. It's having wheels underneath those. So I can actually just do like this and I move the car now on the top here. So this support, it's only to keep the car from not rolling off the weights. Then we have the most important support. This is this one, the big one here. This we are having on instead of the tire because we're only gonna adjust the height of the damper of the car here. It's much more easy to go inside here and do it without the tire. Also the toe arm was there. We can use a longer or shorter. Much more easy to go to do it. Also the camber is underneath here, was going in and out. Everything, do all this stuff, it's much more easy when you have the set of wheels, like those, instead of the, the rims and tires. And this set of wheel piece is on the same size as a rim, like the rim we use when we race. The rim is going to the middle of here, so there is the same size and it's the same height, so it's going on the perfect height here on the ground. And also the wide, is, it's perfect like the rim we are using. And I also have to tell you why it's wheel down here, it's because the car have to move really easy when you do the setup because if I'm adjusting this arm now longer or shorter and it's not really flexible here then you maybe push the arm to the steering and move the other tires so this is really important it's really loose when you do the setups and now I'm gonna show you how we know if the tire is in or out and like toe and stuff this is because we have this support which is easy mounted here now down in the chassis it's a frame it's the same on the rear and here we have a... Um, what is this called in English? This pipe. Pipe, eh? Pipe. This pipe we're having here. On the end there you see it's a, it's a place to put the line. And from this place where the line is to the other side it's exactly 2 meters and 10 centimeters. And the same pipe is on the rear down there. And this is a fish line with weights. So this is perfectly straight on each side of the car. And then to make sure it's the same on each side here we can adjust it to each side. Over there it's the place to mount it, to tight it when you have it correct. To find the correct position we have to do with the, the line inside there, out to the line. And then you make this measurement and it's perfect on both sides, front and rear. Then you know this fish line is going parallel 100% on each side of the car. Then we have these ones. This is aluminium piece with magnet and it's laser printed lineal. Then we put this one inside here. We push it up to the line now we can see it's seven point something then we have the same one here on the rear of the front there we push it there then we see the measurement from front to rear and then we know if it's one millimeter different from front to rear we know the tire is like we call toe out or toe in so then we can adjust it to make it perfectly straight and then we have the camber that's how the tire is lying like this and to check that we have this tool and i also have a steel ring there on the aluminium support we put it like this, we put this one in perfect position and when I turn this one on I can see how much camera we are having. So while we are adjusting then we can adjust it and we see how it goes, where it goes and we get it where we want to have it. This thing, adjustment, all this stuff is really important. It's millions of options, we can have different springs, we can have different toe up, we can have toe in, we can have more camber, we can have less camber. Same at the rear, we can have different from side to side. This is, uh, this, it's really important, it's really difficult to find the right setup every time. It takes a lot of time. And like I said, between all the races we're doing this. Or free practice every time. Every time I was on the track, we put this on and check it. And also about the corner weights, what I showed you earlier. The weights, when you see how much weight it is. Let's say if this tire have more weight than the other one, then we have to adjust it here at the height, to make more or less pressure here. We try to make the same weight on the both front tires. Because like if you have more camber on this side or the other side, this is going to be different from side to side, then we have to adjust the height and 
Yeah, it's, this is actually a little bit complicated. You have to have done it a few times. But I think I told you the most important stuff about the setup now. Now I'm going to think, tell you the thing I'm most proud of. Everything I showed you here now, except this weight is made by me and my brother. He made everything. Uh, we designed it and we made it. And I'm actually quite pr proud of that. I was not sure if I'm going to tell you guys, but I'm going to tell you. We used two years. <laughs> two years we used. So, we used two years more to make the set of wheels. Yeah. But in the end, it was quite good, eh? I would say so. <laughs> you will say so. Are you not proud of them? I'm really proud of them. You should be too. You both like say something. To bring the set of wheels, I'm having these two aluminium Sargas boxes. We are working on a really cool project now. We are working on the foam inside the boxes. It's not done yet because now it's a mess like that. But I'm gonna show you when it's done because that's gonna be that's gonna be amazing. <laughs>